Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we've got two systems from two of you guys to uh, check out as requested a lot of them are, a lot of people have been submitting systems recently and a lot of people have been saying I take a little too long so what we're going to do in the meantime is we're going to do two per episode to uh, hopefully speed things up a bit so before we get started though guys if you'd like to send in your own simulations for this series make sure to join my discord server link in the description and then you can upload in our US2 simulations chat but please note you, there's a queue you could, as soon as you upload your system it is going to take me weeks maybe even a month to actually get to your system as i mean there's quite a lot in there so i have to i can only go through them and it's only fair i work from top to bottom so yeah please keep that in mind but yeah without further ado we've got a system from nick 118 to check out and then we have um a system from someone who doesn't even have a name they just have an icon as their uh um, profile um, profile name on Discord, so we'll get to them in a minute. But um, yeah, we'll check out Nick's system first. This is the beggar system, so let's go ahead and actually open this. Let's have a little look and see what they have got for us. Come on, game. So yeah, we're still in update 29, aren't we? So hopefully that doesn't uh, mess up any of the uh, simulations. So let's uh, go ahead and see. Okay. All right. Beggar system. Okay, there we are. Right. What have we got? Okay, so there's no description. Here is the simulation. Okay, it's not the largest one. Okay, but here is beggar. Okay, so it's a small little star as we can see. One one mass, one radius of sun. Okay. And then onto the first planet. So we have beggar A over here. So it's looking quite up. Okay, yeah, this has got to go. So a lot of people were saying, what you do to get rid of this nonsense? Turn that nonsense off. There you go. Get rid of that. Because that, that is an absolute nightmare, that button is. Right, so here it is. So beggar A. So, yes, yeah, looking like Venus, a Venus-like object. So there it is underneath. Obviously, a very, very sort of burnt, scorched world. So there it is. Cool. All right, next up, we've got Beggar B over here. Second planet out. So here we are. So looking quite like a Mercury-like world. Just all rock, quite hot, but not really much going on there. Then we have Beggar C over here. This is looking more like a uh, an Earth-like world. Obviously, got oceans, got nice clouds all in there as well. Looking very nice indeed. Nice sort of purpley pink atmosphere colour as well. Looking at the other stats, 83 and 40. Looking very good indeed. And then it also has a moon over here as well. So one moon. So that's our Earth and moon sort of uh, counterparts in this system. Nice. Okay, next up we've got Beggar D over here. So this one's very, very dark looking actually. Check it out. So it's dark. Got some white clouds going on as well. That's what it looks like underneath. Oh, it has actually got some sort of ocean. Very, very dark sort of oceans, but I want to say it's got oceans. Is that is that water? I'm not sure, actually, but yeah, there it is. So it does have some sort of uh, action going on. If we look on the stats, 93, but no. Okay, it doesn't have any water by the looks of it. Okay. It also has a moon as well. Very similar to Titan by the looks of things, and that's what it looks like underneath. Got a bit of a uh, ocean going on as well. Nice. So there's that one. Okay, next up, so we're going to Beggar E now. This one's looking like it uh, got a lot of moons, yep. Yeah. Here it is, we've got like a chocolatey coloured uh, gas giant here. Quite a nice looking gas giant, I have to say, I like it. And it's also got some moons. So we'll have a quick look through all of those, but they're looking like all generic sort of moons. So obviously we don't need to really visit all of those. So there they are. It's got yeah, quite a nice uh, line of moons, as we can see. But they all look fairly... Uh, yeah, fairly generic looking moons. So, yeah, we really don't need to uh, visit those. Uh, next up, we've got Beggar F over here. Another gas giant. Sort of a creamy coloured, almost like Saturn, but slightly more orange version of Saturn here. Looking cool. Also got some moons as well. But, yeah, again, they look like they are all just uh, generic asteroid moons. And although there is one coloured one here. So, we've got a pink version of Titan by the looks of it. So, a very thick atmosphere world here. Looking good. Okay. Cool. Next up, we've got Beggar F5. Then we have F6. And that's all of those guys. Okay. Right, now we have Beggar G out. So next planet, so we have a Uranus like. So we can see some similarities with the solar system straight up here. We've got three gas giants in a row now. And obviously, we have a Uranus looking one now after previously having a Jupiter and Saturn sort of design. So there it is. Here. It's all alone, no moons. And lastly, we've got H. So is it a blue one by any chance? Yes, it is. So check it out. Looking very nice. Very, very dark here, though, as we can see. Distance from the star, 84 AU, so pretty uh, pretty far. And also, it has some moons. So, there we are. Okay. So, yeah, quite similar to the solar system itself. If we look at the so of overall design, I mean, you can definitely see some similarities here. So, if we look here, you've got the inner solar system. So, you've got a Mercury, Venus, Earth counterpart. And then a Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. So, it's very, very similar. 
to the solar system. Then you can see if we have a line up all the objects, I'm pretty sure size wise, I'm pretty sure you can work out what's going on. Yeah, so you've got the Jupiter, Saturn, the Uranus, the Neptune, you've got the Earth, you've got the Venus light world, got a few more in there, and then you've got like a Mercury light world. So, yeah. Okay, so very, very similar to the solar system itself. Nice little sort of redesign after I did. I do like the uh, the gas giant changes. They do look pretty cool. So yeah, there we are. So that is the first system today from Nick one one eight. So that took us what six minutes to go through. So yeah, that's just uh, just an idea as well. Make larger systems, guys. Because obviously we'll go through them really fast. So that's why we're sort of doing two a video at the moment is because there's so many small systems posted that it doesn't take long to go through them. So there they are. My favourite planet of all this lot though. Change the subjects. Definitely that one. But I do like this one as well. I do like the two uh, most customised gas giants. They are pretty awesome. But yeah, moving on now. So the next system, we got the Sanderserx system. And this is actually from a user called Ben Finleyson. So yeah, their Discord name, didn't. It's just, it's just an icon. But yeah, at least we can see their Steam name's a little different. So yeah, they're the creator of the system. So okay, so what we need to do is go to the workshop. Uh, subscribed, yep. And then it is this system here. Okay, what have we got? Right. Hello and welcome to the Sadlesserex system. The system has many planets and moons, five of which are habitable. Hope you enjoy. You can copy any object you want. Okay, so what have we got here? Okay, cool. Right. So another sort of a smaller size system. So first of the planets. This one is dangerously close to the parent planet. And this surface lock, go away. We do not want you here at all. Can I drag this? Yes, I can. Okay, cool. So we can turn that on and off whenever we want. Good to know because that is a right pain. Right, so there it is. First of the gas giants, obviously being absolutely scorched by its start. I mean, that is dangerously close. I mean, how far away are we? How, how long is an orbit? 1.16 days. Well, we. That's, um, that's pretty close. So, yeah, that, that's obviously going to lose a lot of material being that close to its star. But, yeah, taking a big jump out now. First of the planets, we've got a nice Hathable world, actually. So... Looking cool. Earth-like. Um, let's go to... Uh, where are we? So, um, Light in realistic, please. There we are. So we've got Earth-like world. First of the planets out here. So what have we got? Stat-wise, 86 and 65. Really nicely designed. Also, you've got some storm clouds going on in the top as well. I, I love the storm clouds. They're definitely my favourite prefix on the clouds. All right, next up, we've got this one. I'm not going to bother pronouncing these because I will just butcher them. So... Apologies for that, um, but here we are. So another Earth light world. It's just got one of those weird glitch lines on it. They're very annoying, but also got some nice uh, clouds going on as well. Looking underneath, so we've got 70 and then four on the likelihood and stuff there. So that's cool. Very thick atmosphere to go with it as well. Also got a uh, single individual moon and then, oh, that has a second moon as well. Cool. It's got two moons. Very nice indeed. Okay, then taking a jump out. So we've got D Decimi over here. So this is a nice ocean world by the looks of things. Got a little bit of land as you can see, but yeah, mostly ocean. Got a larger continent at the bottom actually there. And then stat wise, yeah, again, nice uh, nice stats there. And it also has a individual moon as well to go with it. Cool. Right now we're taking another jump out. So we've got this object here, another Earth like world. So this is a haven for uh if this would be an absolute haven for human exploration, finding a system like this, we've got 86 and then 57. A little more snow on this planet. Now, that's always because we're a little further from the star. The average temperature is only minus 18, actually, so definitely on the colder side of things here. So this, in theory, will be the last of the... must be the last Haspel planet. Surely the next one out can't be... Yes, it's a gas giant now. So you can see all the green ones are the Haspel planets by the looks of things. So you got that one over here. So here it is here, so a nice deep sort of blue, got a few different shades of green and purple in there as well. Has one moon around it, and it actually is habitable. 73 degrees? Play. Should, does it actually keep, oh my god, it actually heaps, it must be the um, gravitational heat. Wow, so this world is warmed up by its gas giant parent, nice. Very nice actually, that's, that's cool. What's its stats like? Pretty decent stats of being this far from the star as well. So, obviously, most of the temperature here is all from tidal heating. I mean, it's got to be. I mean, 73 degrees. Oh, whoa. So, that is. So, let's have a little look on the actual surface stats. So, whoa. So, most of it is 76 degrees. That's got to be the tidal heating, 100%. So, very, very hot area here. So, that's pretty crazy. 
So what if we actually pull it to zero? Does it just warm up again straight away? Yeah, it does. Okay, that's pretty cool. So obviously that's obviously going to all warm up. So obviously if you let time run for a bit, that will obviously all warm up uh, fairly high. But yeah, it's cool. It actually has a little bit of tidal heating going on. So it actually can retain its temperature around the gas giant at this distance. Because I mean, how far away is the gas giant? So if we look here... 15-year orbit, so 6 eight, so it's roughly Jupiter distance, a little bit of Jupiter sort of distance from there, so pretty impressive stuff. And last up, we've got one more gas giant over here at the very end as well, and it also has some gas dwarf moons. Nice. So over here, and then there we are. Okay, so that appears to be it for this system. We'll have a little look further out. Okay, that's everything. Cool. Okay, so let's get them all out of a line up here. So... There we are. So we had two short and sweet systems for today, guys. So yeah, hopefully you like this different format of doing like two in one video again. Because it hasn't been, it's been a while since we did these, or one like this. So there we are. But I'm thinking, for episode 200, should we just do a stream and just try and get through as many systems as possible? Because I know a lot of people have been chasing me, saying, oh, when are we doing my system and all that? So yeah, well, I think that would be quite a good idea. So once we get to episode 200, guys, what would you think of a stream where we just go through everything so i think we did it for episode 100 as well so yeah i think episode 200 we should just try and get as many off the list as possible and try and do like a nice hour two hour long stream of just getting it all done i think what would you what would you guys think of that i think we should I think it'd be quite a good idea actually so yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions um down below on that in the comments and yeah that all said and done guys massive thank you for watching today's video and if you liked it make sure to hit that like button subscribe for more health and journey to 23,000 subscribers and like i said if you'd like to uh Sub submit your own system for this uh, series guys make sure to join my discord server link in the description and just upload the uh, system in there like i said at the uh, start of the video so yeah really really hope you enjoyed it though and yeah that all said and done make sure you have a great day stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next video goodbye